Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 22 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, and I'm not going to lie. I am destroyed right now. Uh, heartbroken. Uh, the next game was ridiculous. If you watched the NBA, let me know in the comments if you do. Uh, uh, but suffice to say, it was just a heartbreaking loss, you know? Um, but yeah, let's take a look at today's farm. Sorry, friends, I am just out of it. But let's look at today's farm with 3362, zero away transformation three. You can win an injury away numbs of length n and a 2D queries. Okay, I feel like we did this, was it yesterday or the day before? Uh, I guess it was two days ago now. But in any case, okay, document each index by most one. Okay. They could be independent for each index. Okay, so what are we saying? 002, we have 02, 02, 1, 1. Um, oh, wait. Maximum number of elements that can be removed from queries. Do we always do them in order? Query survive. Remaining queries. Okay. Um, do we always do them in order? I feel like I have a feeling about this one, but not really. Okay, so maybe not. Um, hmm. Okay. So you can remove queries 2 and 3. So it, that doesn't really tell me anything. Okay, but yeah, so we can remove any of them. Hmm. How would I think about this one? Um... Yeah, how would I think about this one? I mean, okay, so the core, the first ideas that I would have is to look up uh, our video from two days ago, the zero array transformation one. Um, I think the basis about like, you know, thinking about uh, segments and and uh, different arrays and all these things, um, you know, we should be familiar with that one because I am going to assume that we have um, some ideas here, right? Okay, so the first idea that I would have and I'm just looking at the constraints right now. I guess that's the first idea. The second is, of course, you have to check every query. If, or if you are able to do all the queries and get to them, then, of course, you are... Um, yeah, then, of course, otherwise it's not possible. So the, the impossible case is easy to check. But then the maximum element case is a little bit trickier. Hmm. Uh... How would I think about this? Hmm. I mean, it feels a little bit greedy, but I'm trying to think out like, just because, it's one of those things, right? Greedy problem, that's why it's tough. Just because you say it's greedy and no, even even if someone tells you it's a greedy, does not mean that you know how to solve it. You have to do a little bit more to show, um, to actually solve it, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I mean, I think at the end of the day, this is going to be a sweep line, right? We, we greedy in a way, right? And then we sweep. depending on whether we need a query. I think that's basically going to be the core idea. Um, and I know that I'm not saying that quite in a way that is understandable, but it's just basically we're forced in every way, right? Um, okay, so basically, uh, let me, I mean, I'm going to pull up the drawing board real quick, hang on, so I'm not just like repeating random stuff for no reason. I mean, I guess it's still not a great reason. But yeah, so okay. So then I think the idea is something like this, right? Uh, and maybe I'm wrong because greedy is always a little bit tricky, but I feel like this is the general idea. If not, then we can iterate on it, right? But here we have a number line, right? We have, say, you know, some heights that we have to take care of. Um, uh, and like, for example, this is two, let's just say uh, one, right? So this is here and two or something like that. Maybe we could think of it as a box, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't matter, right? And then now we have um, what I call segments. 
with respect to things that we can remove. Like for example, it could be this long. Um, and let's just put in. Uh, let me actually redraw this real quick. My my four friends, right? So then here, you can think about the numbers as just like the height on on a, a number map, right? So maybe you have this, you have this, this, and then and every query allows you to subtract one from one of the things, right? So you maybe have your queries like this, queries like this, queries like this, queries like this, right? And then the idea there here with greedy is that okay, let's sweep line, right? What does it mean by sweep line? So like we start with a line here, and then now we move one by one. Um, let's say this is height, I don't know, I mean, we, we made this up anyway. So this is height three, that means that we need at least three segments. And then of course here, we can choose in a greedy way, right? Um, yeah, like we can choose in a greedy way. Let's say we have, well, we have fewer than three, then, well, we just cannot do it. But let's say we have three or even more, let's say we have I don't know, five things, and we want to choose three of them to web to which one do we do? Well, in that way, now we can do greedy, right? Because now, um, the right end point of it, well, you're going to just, in a greedy way, there's no reason why you should take the closest one, you take the, the three farthest one, because, well, it's just greedy. Um, because here you can take this one, maybe this one, and this one, because our, oh, wait, no, I missed this one, oops. And this one, I guess, right? Because out of uh, one, two, three, four, five, you can choose these three because um, you could just do like a very basic exchange principle of like, why would you pick this one over this one, right? Because just by extension. Of course, this one is the first one, so maybe it's a little bit confusing. But I think that's basically um, the idea for this problem is that as you... Uh, you know, you, you, you pick up segments or uh, uh, queries as you need them. And then when you need them, pick the one that gives you the furthest extension to the right. And that's basically the idea. And a lot of this can be supported with a heap, I think, right? So here, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so maybe we can write something like... Um, yeah. Uh, here we can just query, we could sort queries, right? Um, because now during the sort, it was sort by the beginning point and then the end point, right? So the left, right, and then now the left allows you to figure out what goes into the heap so that we can choose. So then now we have um, for index, x and nums, and maybe I, I have to write this out of order a little bit uh, because we have a heap, right? Heap is equal to do, 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 and this is just a regular heap in Python is a little bit weird, but okay. So then now, uh, okay, we saw it, but we do want to pop something from the the top, so uh, or from the left side. So uh, we can maybe just do like something like this, right? We could put them on a queue. Uh, we can also use like um, we can also use uh, what you might call it. Um, we can also just have a, a um. And like a, a, a pointer, an index, an integer that represent the index to kind of move. But I always like using a deck because it allows me to um, just remove stuff without having, you know, worry about indexing and stuff like that, right? And then now if we do that, then now the, the font will be, uh, yeah, right? So while length of Q is greater than zero and Q sub, so, so the front of the Q, the first element, if that is less than or equal to index, that means that we're passing it the starting point of this of the the queries, the left side of the queries. And then as a result, we want to just put in the heap, right? Uh push heap of um of uh q sub zero sub one, right? Uh, and then we Q pop left. And here we could put the endpoints and we just want to sort by the endpoints. Uh, actually, I, I, I'm wrong a little bit here. We want to sort by, we want to the greatest, right? We want the largest amount in a greedy way that we said. We want the first away. So here we want to push this and, <coughs> and then we pop it out, right? Okay. And then now we go, okay, if, so, So we do have to keep track of an other thing, right? Um, which is when, so now we kind of have these segments. And now that we have these segments, we want to go, okay, well, when do these segments end? So we have to keep track of that as well. Um, we could put that, use another heap probably if we really wanted to, but um, uh, 
but um, maybe that's fine. I mean, we could also. Uh, Yeah, you could also put it in a way, you could use another heap. So yeah, maybe we can use another heap, right? So here it is, uh, maybe I'll rename this heap to be uh, good to use maybe, so that, you know, these are the things that are good to use, right? Okay, and then now, we also want to say we're using, right? So the currently using, we have maybe another heap. So uh, currently using. And then now, while length of currently using is less than x, because we want it to be x, because we need um, x number of queries to be active, right? So then now, if this is the case, then we uh, take them off good to use, right? So here, while this is the case, we do heap, heap q dot heap pop good to use, and this gives us um, the right side, so we'll just call this, I don't know, off of the right, and then we use currently using, right, you push currently using, and then negative r, just because, um, yeah, we just want to, you know, put this here, and then that's basically it, Kind of. It's not quite because we, I, I want to say this is mostly good, but yeah. But first, we also want to say uh, while length of currently using is greater than zero, and apparently I, we also want to remove some exp expired stuff, right? So okay, so this is um, uh, yeah um. And this is judging by the index, right? So here we go, new queries can be used, right? And here we want to say, uh, we move expired queries because the right size is good, right? So while length is equal to zero, uh, so currently using the first element, if this is before the index, then we return, right? So if this is true, then we pop. Right, and it says if we need more queries, we use them. We we take them. Right. And that's and that's basically it. Um, and here we want to keep track of how many things that we are using. Uh, yeah, so every time we pop off this, that means that we have a query that we want to use, right? Um, this right? I mean, this is definitely right, but uh, we also want to remove good to use uh, expired, right? So here, maybe we do, before we put, put it here, uh, on top, we also want to remove expired good to use. So while length of good to use is greater than zero, if good to use, oh, uh, I can't do that, I guess, because it's sorted the other way. Mm. Okay. So, okay, so we do R, um, yeah. Well, we have to do something like because uh, we have to, we want uh, there is a negative one case, right? So we have to do if length of good to use is equal to zero. That means that you know we we ran out, so we do r uh, uh, here, right? And then if it's not, then we use r. But if r is less than index, then we continue, right? Uh, because then now we can take this one. In theory, we, that also means that we should do negative one because I, I think you, you, you can't keep on popping. I mean, you, because you, the way we sort it, the way we just keep on popping, it'll just keep on going to the left, but I think this is fine. 
right? And that's really it. Now we have to just keep track of, okay, how many times we put it on push using? So then maybe just do count increment by one, right? And then now we just do, uh, yeah. So how many did we end up using? Well, or, or how many can we remove? It's just gonna be the length of queries minus count. And that's it. Maybe, hopefully, but not actually. Uh, okay. I just return negative one for everything. Why is that? Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Well, maybe. All right. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm off by one somewhere. Let's see, right? Uh, so I'm, I'm just not feeling good today at all. Right. Okay. So good to use. There's two of these. Oh, 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 I'm dumb. Because this is... Uh, we should be negative, right? So this is actually uh, negative. So that, that that's why this is always going to be true. And that's why. Okay. At least this should be slightly better. Okay, fine. Right, so uh, we have 2, 2. Right. Why do I return negative 1? Um, oh, 2. Maybe, am I removing this too early? We move expired. No, if it's eco, it's fine. Okay, we need more queries. We tick them. Uh, why do we return? Hmm. Uh, uh. Currently using X. Right. Ah, we're not pu pushing them currently using for some reason. Okay, well, is that a that or we expire them for some reason? Do we? Uh, oh, 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 I, I convert this to negative, so then now this is should be, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I did in one place and then the other. And now this infinite loop for some reason. Uh, we push it, but we pop, right? So, hmm. This is very awkward for sure. I am very awkward today, I suppose. Um, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we, we do pop it, right? So either this or... It is in here, right? So... Yeah, and this should run out, so I don't get it. Okay, let's just do this for a second. Does that work? I mean, that, that, okay. So that does something. Otherwise, we push on currently using. Why does that break it? Why does this increase in every, oh, is it, oh, I see. Because uh, now this is, okay, so it's expiring. Otherwise, we break, right? I think that's the part that I, I'm just being dumb on. Okay, there you go. I mean, now we just have... Uh, I, I removed it for some reason. Okay, so now it looks okay, even though it's very confusing and I'm not explaining anything. But uh, yeah, okay. I mean, it looks okay, though. I mean, I think it's just a lot of what I call bookkeeping, meaning that we keep track of things. And here, the core idea is that you're going from left to right. And as you go from left to right, you take the queries that you can get as much as you can. And... Um, as you take as much as you need and when you need them you just go as far as you can but yeah um, that's all I have with this one apparently I got it wrong like four times before um, but today I did a little bit better I guess I didn't get anything wrong uh, this is the same idea uh, what did, was I did I have the same idea oh I did it with segment tree huh um, okay I, mean, I don't know about that but, but yeah uh, that's all I have with this one what is the complexity, right? Well, this is going to be N or Q log Q, if you will. Um, just sorting the queries. Otherwise, um, yeah, this is going to be O of N. This is O of Q. Um, this is O of Q. Remember that each element on the Q, uh, on the query, sorry, can only be pop, uh, pushed and popped like twice or something. So it's going to be uh, n log q so the total complexity is going to be n log q plus q log q and that's all i have for this one for time and yeah let me know what you think thanks for watching i'm sad leave a comment leave some love i'll see you later thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health go next i'll see you later take care bye bye